water-based paints work really well with an oil and water mixture. And so I use many generic water-based paints. Some of these I've received from Michaels and dollar stores. And then depending on how thin they are, I'll water it down a little bit more. So this is a, a pink one. It's fairly thin, but it could have a, a touch more water added to it. The purpose of adding more water to it is to make it so it's easy to pour when it comes to the final product. I like to use a little metal um, mixing utensil because then I can just rinse it off and use it with any other colors as well and it doesn't taint the other colors. So here I have an orange, here I have a yellow, that one's much runnier. I'll make sure to shake it quite a bit before I actually use it. And sometimes I've even tried some metallic paints to see how that works. Okay, now I'm ready to mix the paint in with the oil. So you can see I have just regular canola oil. I've tried other oils, but I don't see a huge difference in any of them. So I've put about an eighth of an inch of oil in the bottom of this uh, Solo cup. And now I'm ready to add paint. So I'm just going to add some drops of paint in. The slower I pour it and the more I get drops or little bubbles and shapes in there for me is more effective. The colors I've chosen this time is for a nice spring, spring picture. So I've got pink orange and now for a little yellow and if you can see down in there you can, you can tell that some of the colors mix some stay separate and now I'm ready to pour it into my other mixture now I have almond milk in a saucer. I've placed a toothpick there to go ahead and focus on the toothpick. I love to use my live view when focusing because then I can get right where the toothpick touches the milk. When I'm done focusing, I can remove the toothpick. I do have an off-camera flash set up. It's at 164th power. I have it raised just a little bit to help minimize some of the shadows. Now with the milk, any milk works. This happens to be almond milk because it's what we have, but the higher the fat content, the better. Now I have my cup with all my different colors. I did add a little bit of green to it as well to get some contrast. And then I'm ready to pour. Okay, let's slide it away a little bit. And then using my live view, Can capture images. I can move the plate around as needed to get different perspectives and color choices. And these become like little miniature worlds. If you have the opportunity to add a second flash, that's beneficial as well because then you can minimize some of the shadows. Another option I'm playing with, this time instead of milk, I've used vinegar and paint, watered down paint, so that's given the yellow color. Now I'm going to add the same mixture with oil and paint to the vinegar. As you probably know, vinegar and oil don't mix very well, so we should get the same result. already pre-focused with my toothpick and so now I'm ready to shoot. Check my image for the histogram and brightness. That looks good. I'm 
might fine tune focus just a little bit here. around a little more so I can get some of that yellow in the background. 